Now that I have my Wikipedia content load up on my page, I want to do some refinements to it. Now, I'm going to really try not to get into too much CSS styling with this thing at this point, um, but there are a couple of things I'd like to change. Uh, first off, when I, I read that the author decided that for any link on the page, they're going to add a, a, a target equals blank attribute on there to open up a new tab for the user. Now, we've read that that's a bad usability practice and also that XHTML 1.0 doesn't allow that so kinda ad ad adhering to those best practices I uh, looking at the code that was provided by the um, author I see that this very last line is doing just that I mean it says information find all the A's the links and then add the the attribute target underscore blank. Well, uh, I'm going to delete this, but before I delete it, I'll just comment it out and make sure that um, I don't break my script in the process. So now, once this loads, I could hopefully, if I click on this, okay, it keeps me in the same tab. So that's good. So now I could safely just delete that part out and I'm not worried about it. Okay. Although you know what, I almost part of me almost thinks that maybe I could uh, I could hold on to this code as a reference in case I wanted to find something else, you know, just like the proper syntax. But come to think of it, now I'm just putting a little me mental note that um, I could always find refer back to the to the original article that I read to find out this information if I needed it. So I'm just going to get rid of it. Um, also. There's a little bit of formatting I want to do, since so I already plan to put some Flickr picks up here, and just the fact that these are formatted this way now it just kind of looks ugly to me, you know. And and uh, they're obviously way better style than the Wikipedia page, so I'm thinking I want to get rid of all these images. So there's, well, I guess at this point you're really stuck. You have a lot of options to do this. You got a lot of different options to do the exact same thing. Now, if you look through the uh, API documentation, you may find a better way of pulling just the information that you want. I kind of looked, and now mind you, I didn't look in great detail, but I was trying to see if there was a search parameter that I could pull just the actual text, just just the content. I didn't. I spent about five minutes looking at it, so I can't say that I did an exhaust, exhaustive search. There may be some information in there. Um, that would actually be the best way to get rid of these images, right? Because then at least on the initial load when you're refreshing it and all this content's about to be sent into you, um, these images would never even be downloaded to the user. Um, the other way is to actually, well there's two ways. You could either use display none in your style sheet or uh, or the hide function in, um, in jQuery to get rid of the images. Now it'll work mind you it's not the greatest implementation and the reason I say it's not the greatest implementation is because uh, the user still has to download it and then you're hiding it so there's still like a cost associated with it like a bandwidth cost and what I'm saying is that you would target let's see information and then MG, uh, IMG right and look at this um, I'll stick with my single quotes actually I'll probably change this to some single quotes too because the author was using double quotes so um, so image dot hide would be one way to do it and then when you go back and reload so it shouldn't reload all those pictures but you know that these pictures are actually still downloaded but they're just being hidden um, we could either do it this way or you could take this and pop it into your CSS file and do display none which essentially does the exact same thing now which way is better to do it uh, 
you know, it's up to you. I would say since this is a well, well, maybe maybe we could conclude just thinking about it. Maybe the best way to do it is through CSS. No, no. The very, very best way is refining the Wikipedia search to only bring you back text because then you're only getting back what you need and then not having to process all this stuff afterwards. Um, the, the second option you have, obviously, is either either adding something in your script to hide it like so or or doing it in your CSS now the reason why I say it's likely better in your CSS is because um, if you start doing some styling in your JavaScript you're kind of uh, muddying the waters a little bit right because now you have a little bit of styling going on in your JavaScript and a little bit of styling going on in your CSS so you may want to make a change and all of a sudden you're all over the place uh, really the idea is to centralize the um, centralize where you're styling stuff to one place and you might as well put that in your CSS document so I really want to get rid of a lot of this stuff and short of sh getting I don't know how specific you could get with the Wikipedia API at the time of, of this recording I know it's still relatively new um, I'm not even sure if it's it's public but I'm not sure if they recommend you using it in production meaning that they're still working on it and developing it so you can't really f feel safe um, using it fully but but one of the ways that I, I mean that I would do is I mean let's for example I want to get rid of this edit button over here on all of this well let's check this out what if I use my um, let's see CSS I use my web developer plugin I kinda hover over this thing and I end up let's see information so this is I'm just oh here we go so if I look up top I see that it's, it has a span class and it says edit section dot edit section over there well why don't I go into my style sheet and since I saw what that was, you know, maybe I should need a new section over here called Wikipedia Styling. I don't need the styling, but it was dot. Uh, no, no, you know what? Let me add it all to here. So all the stuff that I'm getting rid of. Dot edit section. Now, hopefully, this call over here. Again, keep your eye over the top right over here it says you see how I have span dot edit section now if I refresh this hopefully I'll get rid of that let's see no, not quite huh did I save it I saved it oh look at that I didn't add my period okay so now let's see there we go you see I got rid of that edit button so I'm gonna do that and all the way through the document just kinda get rid of all the stuff that I don't want and here's here's more stuff I don't I don't necessarily want what is this DAB link dot DAB link alright let me just pop that out let's see what happens dot DAB link and then I refresh the page hey look I got rid of that I'm gonna I want to get rid of this entire thing I'm really what is this okay info box dot graphic yeah let's see info box there we go you see and I'm just gonna slowly make my way through the document and anytime there's something I want to target uh, and pull out or change uh, what I'm going to use is my web developer plugin tool to see exactly what's um, styling these things I mean you can even double click on them sometimes they're not as descriptive as as they could be but really keep your eye on the top bar over there that's going to tell you what you have and just uh, start styling based on based on that let's see dot toc table of contents I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that out too dot toc and probably it'd be a good idea to even get a little more specific with these things because 
in case I have any classes that are named the same in a different part of my document um, at least these style declarations are only going to target the you know dot info box in the information in the ID information container so um, that's how I'm going to go through working this content um, to something that's going to best suit my site.